So Bob, just finally getting that win and getting the monkey off your back, what's that do for the confidence in this team? Uh, I hope a lot. I don't know. I mean, we're I got them together after the Oklahoma game, and I said, "Fellas, I mean, we're we're going home for for three or four. Let's just let's go win. Let's go win four, and all of a sudden, then we're four and five, and it looks a whole lot different. And go from there." What you think of Jimmy and his performance? And then you're rebounding was, overall. I thought Jimmy was terrific, but. You know, Jimmy's a guy who who really cares. He's a guy who works really hard and you know, when you're when you think about a guy who uh came in here and lost the weight that he lost in order to be able to play and his skill level's gotten so much better. As junior college coach told Ron, he said, Tell Hugs I was wrong. You know, I told him there's no way he'd be able to score for you and look what he's doing. Uh, because he works. I mean, he just he's he's a guy who who he puts time in and and he he really he really competes. He wants to he wants to be good. You made free throws well, that's because he puts time in. You know, it's a it, it's a it's a it's a heck of a coincidence that the guys that put time in are better than the guys that don't. If I knew that, I could write a book and sell it to every coach in America. I, I don't. I, I think they came out with an edge because, you know, we we pretty much manhandled them in the first half. I think they came out with an edge. You know, I think we we didn't come out with the same the same kind of edge, and we got a little careless with the ball. I mean, they they stripped us from the ball. I don't know how many times. I mean, I. I I'd like to look and see, you know, why what happened. I don't, I don't think we secure the ball very well. You know, we, we we have a tendency to hold it down. You hold it down, somebody hits it, you're going to lose it. Instead of cradling it and and uh, raising it up to your chest. So I I think it was a it was a combination of a lot of things. I think it was a combination of. Uh, them coming out trying to get back in the game, knowing that they needed to make a run to get back in the game, and I think a combination of of us just not taking care of the ball the way we need to take care of the ball. What's the uh, I mean, you've lost five games in a row? You see a seventeen point lead go down to two points. Uh, uh, what's the, the way you keep them from letting bad thoughts get in their mind, or do you? And you just let them go. I, they were good in the huddle. They were probably better than I was. <laughs> yeah, they were probably better than I was. They were, they they were good in the huddle. And Keedy's been great. I mean, I, I, Keedy is without a question our our leader. Uh, he's 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 the guy that that really uh, I I think runs the show. And I, I, he was good. Joe was good. Uh, I thought our bench was good. Um, I think it was just those guys, those guys, and then, you know, then I think the other guys kind of get on board when when they see those guys are 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 still uh, enthusiastic and talking about winning a game. Bob, you make free throws. You move the ball really well tonight. There's a bunch of good things there too, but just the way that you talked about kind of playing with an edge and he said manhandling him. Jamie said that you're the most physical team he's played this year. He said it wasn't a basketball game. That that style you all play, I mean just the even with 0 and 5, but to play hard and to play the way that you want to, I would imagine that's the most redeeming for you. Mike, I think we all realized we had opportunities and we just kind of gave them away. We we had an opportunity to beat Oklahoma at Oklahoma. We had an opportunity uh, to beat Oklahoma State at Oklahoma State. 
We've had we've had plenty of opportunities. We 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 maybe could have should have been a whole lot better off than what we are right now. But right now I'm gonna settle for just winning one. It feels good to win one. You said for a while that the energy and the effort had things recently Saturday said that wasn't a problem. No, I mean they've never. It you know as at zero and five and even losing at Oklahoma, they were never. They were never bitching. They were never down. You know they were. They were. You know, hey, let's go get the next one. We can win. You know, we can make a run. And 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 I got them together and just said, fellas, you know, we we're going to play three at home and 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 certainly a winnable away game. I mean, let's. Let's go make a run. Four and five sounds a lot better than nine and oh and nine. I tell you that. Your ability to limit that on transition. They didn't have this, a fast break point in the first half. I think they only we had eight. We scored. We scored. It's hard to run on a score. And our guards are good. Uh, you know, Kitty is. I think Kitty is one of the premier. Uh, on the ball defenders in the country, he's really good, and I, he he kind of stops a lot of uh, a lot of penetration, uh, and we just didn't we just didn't let them get on a run. They're really really good when they when they when they're coming at you on the run, and we we kind of kept them from doing that, not entirely, but probably a lot better than most people have. Uh, like Bob was saying, it's, it's 62-60. There's five minutes left. Um, Jimmy made some free throws. Stevenson found him for for a dunk. But then down the stretch, uh, some of the plays that Joe made, uh, how critical are, are those plays in that moment and in that situation? A couple of drives, a foul line jumper. Joe's one of the guys that has made plays all year. I mean, Joe's Joe has kept us in games um, but that we otherwise would not have been in. But Joe has never been the problem. Hiring of Moore, how quickly can he help you get into the flow? How much does it help that he? He's over who? who? Dermar. He already helped us. He's already helped us when uh, our guys are overstretching and he's just kind of fooling around and he walks out to the WV in the middle of the floor and drains about six straight that didn't even hit the rim. And they're going like, wow. Uh, you know, and they, they know. I mean, they, they know he was a fifth pick in the draft. They know he was the National High School Player of the Year. Uh, they know he had a he had a, a, a an NBA career in spite of the fact that in a car wreck that he uh, he's he was lucky to to be able to do what he's doing now and they understand that they 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 know that they're they're well read how's that they're well read they 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 can they can get on the on the internet and look up to Mar Johnson without any problem. And he's a great person. He's just an absolutely great person. He's a and and he's got he's got he's got experience uh to be where a lot of those guys would like to be. Well, when you had him as a player, did you envision him as a coach and when you had this opening, was he the first guy you went to or what made you think, okay, he's a guy that could do this? I recruited him. He was a national player of the year. Um, we beat every big name you can think of, recruited him. And um, we're fortunate to get him. I mean, I went up to Maine Central and, and sat down and talked to him. And the people that paraded in there before I went in, you would be dumbfounded at the people that went in there. And, and you know, 
Actually, I, I got two bags of ice and walked in and said, put these on your ears, man. These guys have just worn you out. Put it on your ears, cool your ears off a little bit. I just need to talk to you for about 15, 20 minutes. And what I said to him is, you want to go win a national championship? We got the best, we had the best center in the country. There ain't any question. He'll be the number one pick in the draft. Um, we got a, a small, and, and I and I said this to him: You're not going to play center. Kenny won't let you do that. You're 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 not going to play small forward. Pete Michael will never let that happen. Uh, and, you know, Pete was like the whatever 16th pick in the draft or whatever it was. Um, I, I said you're not going to play point guard. You know, Satterfield and Logan have that kind of lockdown, and you're not a point guard to start with. And Jermaine Tate's not going to let you play power forward. Jermaine's pretty damn good. Um, so the place that I have that I think you fit is as an off guard because you can shoot it, you can pass it. You know, you 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 give us you give us even more size than what we have now, more athleticism than what we have now. Let's go win a national championship. That was it, and and the next thing I know, he calls says, "I'm coming, coach." So, I'm excited about this. I'm excited with the fact that uh, he can go into D.C. and everyone knows him, and, and he can go into D.C. and we've we we have done I. Uh, I'm not embarrassed to say that we haven't done a very good job in D.C. I, I think Gail did a much better job in D.C. than uh, than we did. We did, we really didn't do a good job at all. And you think about the players that have come through here from D.C. Um, we need to we need to get in there and do a better job. And he's he's as good a guy as there is to go in and, and help us do that. This may be counterintuitive, but does it help a little bit that he doesn't have an extensive coaching background, that he's kind of a fresh eyes, maybe a fresh approach? I don't know. I've done this for 40-some years. I would think I got a pretty good idea what goes on. Uh, I know I didn't know when I was his age what I know now. So... He's just got, he's got great experience. He's got great experience. He's he's played at the highest level there is in college ba- er, in college basketball. He's played at the highest level there is in in, in professional basketball. And 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 you know, for anybody to think that you know he's this tall skinny guy who's soft when you you stop and think what the guy went through to come back and play in the NBA. I went in, Kenyon and I actually went in and saw him. I mean, the, the, it was the, the, the day, the most, uh, most of the morning of the accident. And uh, to walk in there and see that halo on his head and, uh, and to come out of that the way he came out of that and still be as productive as what he was as a player is absolutely remarkable. <laughs> Coach, uh, starting five tonight, uh, Joe, heavy minutes off the bench. Muhammad, ten minutes. Um, it looked like you really just kind of had your core tonight, and, and you know, that's what I'm going with. Was that kind of the thinking there? Mm, not really. Um, I wanted to play Seth more. It's you know it, the the flow of the game and 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 defensively what Kitty and Joe were doing how do you get take them out of the game and then Eric was Eric made seemingly every shot and warm up so you think man maybe he comes out of it and maybe he he gets on a roll um, no it's just what I thought gave us the best chance. On Eric, are you seeing signs that he is coming out? I mean, he had some bad turnovers tonight, but he also had some nice assists. Seems like he stayed within the flow of the game for the most part. Are you seeing signs of him coming out of it? He's getting better. I mean, he's get, he's getting better, and he's and he's you know he, he he's starting. 
I shouldn't say starting. He's 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 become coachable, more coachable. And you know, I he and I have a relationship where you know, I mean, he knows that. I know he's a little bit crazy, and he knows I might be crazier. So. Well, this is a little thing, but the way that you kind of squeeze their their dribbler on the ball screens early on seemed effective. It kind of rattled them, but it also seemed like your your defense kind of got alive there, and you had great energy from that point forward. It seems like right from the jump. Well, Mike, we did a terrible job of guarding ball screens in practice, and I just said, screw it, let's go double it. Let's go double it and rotate, and we work more on double teaming and rotating than we did on guarding ball screens. Did it affect you positively? Hmm? Did it affect you positively? I mean, it worked. No, I thought it was good. I thought it was good. They they hurt us in the second half because they were running at us, and you know we didn't we didn't uh, we didn't slow them down in transition as much as we did in the first half. Thanks, Coach. Yes, sir.